love baseball and how it doesn't exist from the channel baseball doesn't exist and now these are the dumbest rules in baseball what are those baseballers up to this time did you know that you won't be suspended if you throw a broken bat at a batter wait what but if you drink too much milk before a game you will be you don't <laughs> technically have to touch home in order to score a run baseball has a ton of ridiculous rules but one oh of them stands gosh, out as Fortnite? the dumbest of Fort them all a you lot of them emote? are less what? dumb, yet still confused. You can't emote? Like the umpire gets nailed by oh. a live ball. The game the is over. continues like nothing happened. According to the Wait, the umpire gets hit, they keep playing? But if an umpire is hit by a ball before it passes an infielder, the play is dead. This <laughs> is what happened in 2014. I think that's just the umpire gets to make the decision. Play is dead. Nope. Everybody, stop. You're out. How dare you strike me? He just made the call on his own. I don't think they have rules for this. Angel Hernandez was nailed by a line drive. The fans hated Angel Hernandez so much, they started cheering. <laughs> Why do we hate umpires? Why is he standing there? Why do umpires stand there? What is he looking for? This rule can lead to some unfortunate uh, outcomes for teams and umpires who have to continue umping. Uh, is this just an umpire video? What the fuck? Oh what happened to that while guy? Oh, he just got hit in the leg. Amounts of Come pain. on. But it's not the rule that bad. is generally Ooh, fair. Ooh. But the rule that states that pitchers aren't allowed to pitch with tattoos, not so much. Justin Miller Ooh. found this out the hard way. There's got to be a reason. He was covered in Grease? His teammate, Maybe? Billy Koch, once dared him like a, to get a tattoo. What the fuck? He's got the Christian sunnies. Dude, that's I love those. I love Billy Koch. And he got the tattoo on his butt. Billy Koch paid him and his wife $1,500 as a reward for getting the tattoo. Pitchers are not allowed to wear anything on their arms that are distracting to hitters. So if a team complains that a pitcher's oh. tattoos are distracting them, an umpire is able to force that pitcher to wear long sleeves. I would def be doing that, bro. I can't see your tattoo is too beautiful. That tattoo is gorgeous. Where did you get it done? Look at the ink work on that. If I think a dude is about to strike me out, Oh my god. Gorgeous tat. Why don't you go ahead and get that covered up so I can bat, huh? <laughs> That's exactly what happened to Justin Miller in 2004, oh who was told by the league that he would have to pitch in long sleeves after a team he faced in spring training completely- You're reading his- his tattoos from the mound? As crazy That's as this funny. is, MLB's off-the-field uniform policy can be a lot crazier huh? because according to MLB, players are prohibited from dressing up as women, which was a practice that was not only extremely common, but also may have saved a player's life. But before we get to that, a word from today's sponsor. No, no, get to that. No, no, get to that this instant. Teams have routinely stolen players' clothes, sometimes destroying them, <laughs> then forcing rookies to dress up with kids' clothes, stupid costumes, they, and most- They forced the rookies to wear the DK backpack? It's not too bad. I, I would be embarrassed to be the Yoshi or the Patrick. If if I had to beat the other guys up to get the DK, I'd do it. Bro's the penguin? He looks normal. <laughs> Like, if I saw this guy outside of the context of Batman, Robin, Catwoman, and the Riddler, I'd be like, oh, that guy's overdressed. He's the owner of the team. I think he owns the stadium. Ah, okay, that guy must own the stadium. Got it, okay. And most commonly, women. And in one instance, it actually might have saved a player's life. In 2004, a man randomly shot a bullet into the Cleveland Indians team bus and hit rookie Kyle Denny in the leg while he was dressed up as a cheerleader. What? Fortunately, Danny turned out to be fine because according to the team doctor, the thick leather cheerleading boots he had to wear for hazing decreased the bullet impact tremendously. What? It only caused a minor flesh wound. Unfortunately, after the bullet wound, he never pitched an MLB again. If this would have happened today, things might have ended differently because in 2016, Dude. MLB implemented a new policy that prohibits requiring, coercing, or encouraging players I... from dressing up as women or wearing any other costume that could be seen as offensive. What kills me about this is like, 
it's clearly, you know, they're not trying to, to to set it up this way, but it seems like the YouTuber is like, that practice that saved that kid's life is now outlawed. I think they should be dressed up as women all the time. Either pitch with their left hand or pitch with their right hand uh -huh. until Pat Vendetti came along. He could throw 85 no miles per hour with his right arm, take off his six fingered glove, put it on his other hand and throw 83 miles per hour with his left arm. What the fuck? That's an alien. Send him back to his planet. He was Who can the do only that? ambidextrous pitcher in MLB history. And in his first professional Ever? game, he faced a switch hitter. He came up to the plate to Holy bat right. Vendetti switched his glove to pitch righty. The batter then responded by going <laughs> to the other box to bat lefty. Oh Vendetti then switched his glove again to pitch lefty. These are like two vampires from like 3,000 years ago. These guys are duel have been dueling since time immemorial. These are two ancient spirits at war. <laughs> this is law and chaos. At once. A couple weeks later, MLB I'd made a new hell. rule that stated a pitcher had to pick what arm they were going to pitch with That's before crazy. the at bat and pitch with that same arm until the at bat ended. Honestly, though, I, I guess you would punish the batter more than the pitcher because the being able to pitch like that is a crazy skill. This would continue to confuse batters throughout Vendetti's career, including Adrian Beltre, who put his helmet on the wrong side of his head to <laughs> pretend to bat lefty as soon as he saw <laughs> Vendetti decide to pitch righty. And believe it or not, MLB <laughs> rules actually allow this but he's allowed to try to trick him by putting his hat the other way the old days batters used to wear helmets like this until 1980 in the year when right? mlb started requiring players to wear an ear flap yeah that would this hurt adds protection for when a pitch comes at a batter's head sure but since only one batter's ear is facing the pitcher when batting mlb players ah. are only required to wear one ear flap here's the weird part there's no rule saying which ear the flap has to be on. <laughs> Meaning, even though MLB forces players to wear an ear flap for protection, they you? allow players to wear that ear flap on the wrong side of their head, which adds zero protection. Rafael Fercal did Is this in 2012. Like, I don't... Yasmani Grandal got a single while doing this in 2015. Why would you do Carlos that? Beltron did it while hitting his 100th home run, and nobody stopped any of them from doing this what? and if a batter wants to put his helmet on backwards that <laughs> is also fine because surprisingly backward helmets are not banned in baseball that's cool but as hell bro i put my helmet backwards that's cool as shit i'm trying to look like that there are a ton of surprising things why not just have two ear flaps I mean, like, yeah, it's like you don't get protection, but they're gonna wear it the other way anyway. That are banned uh, throughout the game. Huh? For example, Fortnite. Yes, in 2018, Fortnite was taking the world by storm and baseball players were addicted. This became a massive problem in multiple major league clubhouses. In Philadelphia, Carlos Santana went into the clubhouse and smashed a TV because players were using it to play Fortnite in the middle of a game. No way. Ex Phillies first baseman Carlos Santana took a bat to the clubhouse. That's crazy. Dude, I told you Fortnite is is only the harbinger of what truly awaits us. Like, Fortnite has got to be one of the most addicting things on the planet, and it is only the first. Dude, I told you Fortnite is is only the harbinger of what truly awaits us. Fortnite has got to be one of the most addicting things on the planet, and it is only the first. Obviously, League is that too. You know, Final Fantasy fourteen. There's a bunch of games. But there will be another Fortnite that is stronger. They are going to refine it into sky blue. There is going to be a game that is so addicting. It's going to... It, 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 the, the moment you play it for the first time. Is going to be a disaster. Oh, I said sky blue. I meant blue sky. Damn it. You know what I mean. Fortnite isn't even that addicting. Yes, it is. But no clubhouse had a bigger issue with Fortnite than the Boston Red Sox. They installed. Ah, yeah, a wicked Fortnite. Inside their lockers. Gotta get so on that Fortnite. Play.
Come on, where are we dropping? Clubhouse. The team was doing Fortnite dances in the field. Oh, they no. visited Microsoft to play the game with a professional setup, and pitcher <laughs> David Price admitted the team oh. regularly stayed up until 2 a.m. playing the game on road trips. Oh my God, dude. But later that year, David Price had to miss time with carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh my God. This led to widespread. The team did this bad because of Fortnite. MLB has yet to ban Fortnite. Well, if you're on the Yankees, wide, you get to play that shit. It is banned by certain teams. <laughs> Absolutely. Who all have the power what? to make their own team specific Oh, never rules. mind. Okay. For example, the Red Sox have a team rule that says you can't like pictures of women on Instagram during games. Pablo Sandoval found this out the hard way after Bro, Jared Carabas shit exposed him for liking a woman's picture on Instagram while taking a bathroom break in the middle of a game. Bro, I hate that shit. When people, I'll be on commentary, like during an event, and we'll be on break, and people like, be like, oh, Cody, you're not doing your job. I get DMs and shit. Oh, I hate that. The Marlins even have a rule that says that Bat Boys aren't allowed to do the gallon milk challenge in the clubhouse before a game. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is going on across our great nation? In Boston, they're playing Fortnite. In Miami, they're chugging milk gallons. What the fuck is going on? This is like the end times. Bro, I did that. It's not hard. The milk challenge? Are you kidding? Doesn't it, like, change the pH level of your stomach? That's so much milk. You're going to throw up. Do it now. No! According to MLB rules, you are not allowed to purposely use detached equipment to field a ball. Meaning oh. if a fielder takes off his glove and throws it at a ball, that is an automatic triple. This is rare, but it does happen. Mm. It also means players can't catch a ball in their jersey or pants and still make an out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I will say, dude, I, I get why the equipment thing is a rule, right? Because then everybody would just be stripping all game. Like, you'd be throwing out your shirt, your pants, your shoes. Like, I get why, but that would be really fucking cool. That would be really cool. <laughs> this guy doesn't know where the ball jersey or pants. You got a little, you got a little baseball baby, Look right there. You got a little, got a little thing going on right there. Technically, this was illegal. <laughs> it also means that if a catcher removes their mask, and bro, if that was me, if that wasn't illegal, I would pitch, and then I'd be like Batman. I'd be like, oop, <laughs> just hold my shit out, undo the buttons, catch that shit. Don't throw that shit in here. <laughs> Everybody, every single person on defense in the outfield are just opening up. <laughs> Uses it to touch a ball oh, in any funny. way whatsoever. That is illegal. This happened in 1995 with the bases loaded and the winning run on third. The ump didn't no even way. remember it was a rule, but when Tommy Lasorda pointed it out, the ump had to call it no in the game winning run because even though it had no impact on the play whatsoever a catcher did this what joe madden completely lost his mind and got ejected i'll get him why do why do umpires do that why do umpires have the big like i like i it's so theatric I've gone to umpire training and they tell you not to do this so you don't end up on a dumb umpire bloopers list. <laughs> on strike two? Strike two? You're out of there! You're done! <laughs> oh, Parker just got tossed. The guy played three line line. Oh. Turn the sound off the rest of the night. Wow. Never mind. You can't throw out the music guy. It's fucking amateur league. You don't have to touch home plate in order to score. This sounds mind-blowing due to the many examples that does sound of crazy. players accidentally missing bases oh and getting their God. runs taken away. But in very rare cases, players don't have to touch any bases and can still score. In 1976, oh no, Chris Chambliss hit a walk-off home run to win the pennant and all hell broke loose. Thousands of fans Touch started home. storming the field. Touch he home! Was basically tackled, oh ran like over dead multiple rising. fans trying to touch home, <laughs> but was so overwhelmed, he just ran into the dugout and never touched it. What the fuck? 
He never ended the game. That game is still going, technically. I, Dude, I feel like this... I would not believe that this shit was real if this channel didn't have footage of it. I cannot believe this is real. After the game, Chambliss was told to go back onto the field and touch home Don't to make it official. Home. He was <laughs> escorted by security, but still never touched home because the fans oh had stolen God. all the bases. Under the rules at the time... That sounds like a good movie. He has to go find the person that took home, home. Chambliss was technically out. This run <laughs> should have never counted and the game should have kept going. Chambliss <laughs> rule that says, if fans rush the field and physically prevent players from touching the bases, the base is still I, awarded to the batter. I guess. Meaning that touching home isn't always required. Luckily for Chambliss, MLB was willing to change the rules for him. Aww. These players weren't so lucky. MLB's cleat policy first faced backlash in 2010 when one of their biggest characters, Jeez. Brian Wilson, decided to wear these incredibly flashy cleats in the All-Star game. This wasn't a problem, but when he tried to wear them in a real game, oh, the opposing say, the All -Star manager game. complained, saying they were too distracting. Somehow, MLB agreed, banned them, and fined Wilson $1,000. Jeez. As dumb as this ruling sounds, it is nothing compared what? to when MLB banned Ben Zobrist from wearing these cleats, which were the opposite of distract. Zobrist was warned by MLB and sent a cease and desist letter that banned them in 2018. Because according to MLB rules, players must wear cleats that feature at least 51% of their team's primary color. Dude, what? Really? Who makes the rules for this shit, dude? MLB has changed this rule in 2019, allowing players to wear cleats as cool and as boring okay. as they'd like. Yo, it's Meaning Batman! These are no longer banned, okay. but... Did you know that little people are? Yes, this rule dates back to an incident in 1951. Okay, what's your guess on why? Take a guess. Superstition, small strike zone. Ooh, I like that. Probably a strike zone. That's a good call. I was going to say it's because they're too distracting. Like, they're, they're too funny. Like, they thought that shit was so funny back then. Why are you saying Cody? I'm not saying this. This is the 20s. The 30s, have you seen The Wizard of Oz? It was very inhumane. He quietly signed Eddie Goodell, a three foot seven man, to a major league contract. Then, as a surprise, had him jump out of a birthday cake in the middle of a game. Goodell was later put into the game as a pinch what? hitter. The umpires tried to stop this, but after proving that Goodell was on the team, they realized there was no rule against him playing. He went into the box, and since his strike zone was so small, ah. he got walked on four straight pitches. Yeah, 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 MLB yeah. found out about this, got pissed, You're and right. voided Goodell's contract two days later, which <laughs> set the precedent that little people were an unfair advantage and were not allowed in Major League Baseball. That has nothing on this rule, which is by far the dumbest rule in Major League Baseball. According to this rule, Joey Votto high-fiving this fan, giving him a bat and jersey, is illegal. Freddie Freeman wishing Pete Alonso a great season on first base is illegal. Ichiro apologizing to this woman while chasing down a foul ball and making her entire year is also illegal. They can't interact, yes, because right? MLB rules it? forbid players, yep. coaches, or anyone in Don't uniform be talking to nobody. fraternizing with any fan or opposing player no at any point while in They uniform. might be cheating, bro. This rule was made decades ago because the league was worried players were gambling and players mm. on opposing teams being friends was a bad luck. Gambling with the audience. <laughs> here, here in the stands. Hey, I'll bet you 750 bucks I catch this next pop fly. Well, okay. <laughs> Some people are trying to enforce it more. According to this report, Joe Torrey, who is in charge of- Bro, stop the fraternizing. These two are fraternizing. This has done almost nothing to slow down the constant banter between <laughs> players and fans throughout the game. <laughs> I was popping emotes.